what's up? I've been gone, but I'm back. I know I went out of town, but I came back just for y'all. And I'm drinking my tea. I'm not sick. I just like tea. Herbal tea. And it's raining outside, so it's a good day for tea. Anyway, as y'all know, I went to Jacksonville. It was a call for my friend's birthday and an event they were having in Jacksonville also. I will say that my friend said he enjoyed his birthday as far as the event. But I have fun wherever I go, so. Actually, um, we got down there Thursday, so Thursday and Saturday were the best nights. Um, and because I'm always the one that's recording stuff or whatever, I didn't have my camcord or my camera out. And if I had, that would have been some hilarious stuff. I will say that there is a Waffle House in Jacksonville that will never ever be the same again. Saturday, we did a little shopping as much as we could in Jacksonville. Um, after that, we went back, took a nap. Got up and ate. And um, went back out to party in Jacksonville. Not a good experience. The best part of Saturday was when we got to IHOP after the club. And um, there was a waitress there named Wanda. When I tell you that lady should have been on a stage, she was a pure D comedian. I can't even remember half of the stuff that she said. But she made my, she made Saturday night better. Sunday, um, what do we do? We went to another mall, then um, came back and I think we took naps or whatever, got up, went to the club. We went to an event that was down by the water and um, we got there a little early. I can't imagine ever being in a hotel that serves alcohol and I ask what kind of vodka you have and they tell me they only had Smirnoff. That is so not cute. That is so uncool. That is so just fucked up. Of course I didn't drink it because I don't like spirit all, but um So I ended up getting a coconut rum and coke. My friends they kinda felt me getting ready to get chicken, so they just said we go we need to go eat. So we trotted on down to the waterfront. Um and once we got down there they they were out like a it was like a festival style, like a boardwalk style area and um I passed by this stand that was selling rum punch buckets. <laughs> It was a cup, like a big old cup with a handle, like a bucket on it. Of course, I got one. So, like, Rico, you really need to eat something. So, we went to Hooters and um, ate at Hooters. And I whispered to the waitress and told her it's my buddy's birthday. And that was one of the hilarious things of the night because when they came out to sing happy birthday to him, they made him stand up in a chair with two menus and flap his wings like a bird while they sang happy birthday to him. That was just so funny. I didn't expect him to do it. I didn't know they were going to ask that, but he did it. And um, it was just hilarious. We left there. We went to, well, we went to another spot and got a shot of Patron. They got margaritas because I still have my bucket. We got back to the party. I made the best of it. And that should tell you what I think about the party. It just, I mean, the stuff could have been good, but it just wasn't coordinated right. It just, it really wasn't. I mean, I did a little shopping. I bought, like, I'm not going to tell y'all all that. I bought some stuff. I bought some watches from the Fossil Store. Out in the store. I bought some shoes from the Converse Store. I got me another bag for work from um, Calvin Klein. Monday, all I did was lay around and rest because I was off Monday, so. Wait a minute, what that do Monday? I got a Monday around some errands and ended up going to H&M and buying another outfit that I don't need, but I deserve it. <laughs> yeah, I do. And I must say that when I'm intoxicated or have a couple of drinks, 
I'm extra flirtatious. <laughs> Why this dude? Cause I have a, I have a lot of mouth when I'm intoxicated. So on su Saturday night, I met this guy. Sucking guy that I met. I think the first guy the attitude I was talking to the second guy, but there's one ring on my finger, and I paid for that. But um, the second guy told me I need the kind of guy that I need a guy that can slap the shit out of me. Of course, you know that got me started, so he's back and forth. It was all in good fun, though. But um, he even told me you met the right one this time, and I came home by myself. Not anyway. I just want to say a little sup because I've been back for a couple of days. I haven't posted anything. I ain't want nobody, or if anybody was even looking for me, I ain't want nobody to think I just went to Jacksonville to stay. That's so not happening. I couldn't even foresee that ever happening, but you never know what the future holds, do you? I'm gonna drink my tea, and I might come back later. Talk about something else, I don't know. We'll see. I miss y'all so much. Did y'all miss me? Peace.